there are few processes in the field of modern electronics that are as essential and as obscure from everyday attention as surface mount technology. A foundation of printed circuit boards is the basis of nearly every device we use today, including smartphones, laptops, televisions, and domestic appliances. These circuit boards store the numerous miniature components that enable our devices to operate. The pick-and-place machine, a robotic system that performs the apparently impossible task of picking up components smaller than a grain of sand and positioning them with sub-millimeter accuracy at astonishing speeds, is the foundation of the assembly of these boards. It is one of the technological marvels of the present day that discreetly enables our digital world. Foreign manufacturers have maintained a monopoly on the market for these devices for decades. The gold standard was established by Japan's Fuji, Yamaha, and Panasonic with their enormous, ultra-precise, high-throughput systems, which are capable of placing up to 100,000 components per hour with an accuracy that rivals the tolerances of aerospace engineering. Companies like Samsung Techwin and Hanwha, based in South Korea, have established a strong presence in the high-volume, high-speed segment. These companies frequently offer machines that seamlessly integrate into smart factory ecosystems, striking a balance between cost and performance. Two European companies, Europlacer and Fritsch, designed highly adaptable machines aimed at mid-tier production. These machines became known for their modularity and adaptability, but they were typically priced at a high level. Neodin, Charmhai, and Hans are among the low-cost alternatives that China introduced to the market later. These products are primarily designed for small workshops, prototyping environments, or price-sensitive mid-volume manufacturers. Russia did not have a significant domestic presence in this market until recently. Its electronics production was significantly dependent on external suppliers, which resulted in voids in industrial self-sufficiency and necessitated a significant reliance on foreign imports by its manufacturers. The company Expert Group, headquartered in Taganrog, introduced the PiPlacer 8, the first fully Russian automatic complex for surface mounting electronic components on printed circuit boards in the medium volume production segment to the market in the summer of 2025. This announcement brought about a significant change in the situation. The release of a machine was not the sole accomplishment of this development. It was positioned as a strategic response to decades of dependency, an attempt to establish a niche in a highly competitive global industry. The PiPlacer 8 is touted as a mid-range system capable of processing up to 15,000 components per hour. In practical terms, this places it in direct competition with machines like Europlacer's Ioneo 2 or Fritsch's 620, which are often used in European manufacturing environments where flexibility is prioritized over pure speed. It does not aim to replicate the extraordinary figures of Korean or Japanese giants, which are capable of placing parts at a rate that is several times quicker. However, it provides a significant alternative for factories that must strike a balance between cost, precision, and speed. The Russian designers deliberately emphasize that they have developed the entire control electronics system domestically, eliminating any reliance on imported black box solutions. Their decision is not only a matter of pride, but also of control, as it mitigates vulnerability to licensing restrictions and supply chain disruptions. In terms of technology, the PiPlacer 8 is capable of achieving a positioning accuracy of 35 micrometers. This positions it in the same category as mid-tier Western and Korean machines, which typically advertise accuracies of approximately 30 micrometers. Chinese machines frequently exhibit a greater degree of variation, with some budget models operating at tolerances of 50 micrometers or higher. Only their superior designs are capable of meeting Western standards. Japan continues to be the leader, with its flagship machines functioning efficiently within the 20 to 25 micrometer range. This disparity may appear inconsequential on paper, 
but it is essential for the most compact and intricate modern components. In terms of board management, the Pi Placer 8 is capable of accommodating PCBs with dimensions of up to 430 by 430 millimeters, which covers the majority of common industrial needs. Its component range extends from the Minute 0201 packages, which are barely visible to the unaided eye, to large elements measuring 40 by 40 millimeters. This range ensures it can work with both types of assemblies that have larger connectors or power parts and those that need many small components packed closely together. With eight independent nozzles and 80 feeder slots for tape reels, it offers adequate flexibility for medium production lines. However, it is unable to achieve the massive feeder densities of Japanese or high-end Korean systems, which frequently manage hundreds of reels simultaneously. The software environment is where the Pi Placer 8 makes a particularly interesting proposition. The company emphasizes a simple user interface that includes augmented reality support for project setup, a feature that is uncommon even in Western equipment. It enables the seamless import of prominent electronic design automation tools, including Altium Designer, DipTrace, KiCad, and PCAD. Additionally, it can easily work with both Russian and foreign MES and ERP systems, automatically creating a digital passport for each assembled board. Current Industry 4.0 trends align with this method, assigning each unit a traceable digital identity. Another practical advantage is its capacity to produce placement programs from manual tables in the event that CAD files are unavailable. This feature offers flexibility for workshops that may not always operate with a complete digital toolchain. The Pi Placer 8's integrated visual recognition system is another significant area where the developers are working to differentiate their machine. As each board enters the machine during surface mount assembly, its exact orientation and position may slightly change. This problem is addressed by sophisticated pick-and-place systems, which use cameras to detect fiducial markers and adjust their positioning in real time. The Russian system accomplishes this task by scanning the board upon its arrival, determining its exact location, and dynamically adjusting placement operations to accommodate its unique position. It goes beyond these limitations by measuring the size of each selected component and comparing it to the anticipated tolerance. The system notifies the operator in the event of a mismatch. This functionality enhances positioning accuracy and mitigates costly errors that result from misidentified components during setup. The Pi Placer 8 occupies a unique midpoint in relation to the global landscape. It does not make an effort to unseat the Japanese precision machines or the high-throughput Korean workhorses that dominate massive electronics facilities. Rather, it engages in direct competition with Western mid-tier systems, including Europlacer's INEO 2. In reality, the specifications of the Pi Placer 8 are sufficiently similar that a Russian factory may prefer it to an expensive imported system, opting instead for a domestically supported alternative at a reduced cost. Its advantage over Chinese machinery is more apparent. Although China provides systems that are incredibly affordable, and are suitable for small workshops and enterprises, they frequently lack the durability, precision, and advanced integration features that are necessary for long-term industrial use. The Russian system, if it fulfills its claims, will be in direct competition with mid-tier Western equipment and will be at a higher level of integration and reliability than the majority of Chinese equivalents. In practical terms, the result implies that Russia now has a credible domestic solution for medium-scale electronics manufacturing. The Pi Placer 8 is a viable alternative to the importation of machinery from Europe or China for a factory that assembles several thousand boards per week with a combination of small chips and larger components. It will not be able to compete with the massive assembly lines in South Korea or Japan that produce millions of smartphones, but it is unnecessary. Its function is distinct, to ensure that local industry is independent, affordable, 
and sufficiently sophisticated to meet the majority of global mid-range standards. The Pi Placer 8's comprehensive significance is derived from its symbolism and timing. Russia is indicating its intention to build a greater portion of its technological infrastructure domestically by entering a market that has been previously dominated by foreign producers. It is uncertain whether it will be able to maintain this progress, enhance throughput and precision in future generations, and compete on a global scale. However, the Pi Placer 8's introduction in mid-2025 represents a major development. For the first time, Russia can assert that a machine that embodies the essence of modern electronics manufacturing, the capacity to place components with speed and precision, was designed, constructed, and programmed on its own soil. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.